Hey so friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you all. These are a ton of Dollar Tree hacks and DIYs that you're definitely going to want to try out this fall season and put to good use. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out here on YouTube. Also, make sure you are subscribed. I'll have some more fall inspiration linked in the description box below if you want to go ahead and check out some more videos. And let's go ahead and jump on into these fun Dollar Tree hacks. First step, I picked up one of these little square candle containers from Dollar Tree, and I am wanting to create that little water line that you see in so many of the higher end decor pieces at like TJ Maxx and Home Goods, or even at home or Kirkland's. They all have like that fake little water at the bottom, so I'm trying to create that look. And I discovered if you take Mod Podge, just what I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and put it in the bottom of this this glass container, and just kind of tilt it around the edges until it has an even line, it makes that fake little water line so I was so amazed I attempted this with hot glue and it just cooled so fast on the glass that it wasn't working so the Mod Podge worked perfect and I did do a few different coats you can see after the first layer had dried it was super thin so it was kind of hard to see but if you do two to three coats of this I did end up letting mine dry most of the time overnight after adding each coat but I love the effect that this gives whenever it was finished I love Love making little bouquets in the fall season especially little sunflowers so I love how this turned out a really cool hack to create that fake water line and it will just make all of your fake plants and uh, little planters look so much nicer and more like store bomb These little white ceramic pumpkins with the golden stem are one of my favorite products or fall items out at Dollar Tree right now and I wanted to share a really fun little hack that you can do to really dress these up and make them look higher in. So if you see any of Dollar Tree's leather ribbon make sure you pick it up. So many fun things you can do with it and I'll share some more ideas a little bit later on but right now I want to make some gorgeous custom labels to really dress up these pumpkins. So I cut down the pieces of leather and and then you can actually use these Dollar Tree rub-on transfers and transfer words onto the label so they look really nice. There's no hand lettering or anything. I just cut out a few words. I didn't know if I was going to use the small ones, but I ended up loving this cursive font. So I picked out a few different words and I love how they look together. It's like trust the journey and embrace. So I thought those were strong words to put on here, but different than using just the normal like live, love, laugh words um, that were all tied of putting on everything so I love how this turned out I just rubbed it on there and it transferred really easy and then I just cut away anything that was hanging over the edges trimmed the corners up so they had this really cool tag shape and then I'm gonna put a little dot on each end to make them kind of look like they're held on by some hardware and then glue these down in place I love how it only took a couple of minutes to fix these up and just completely give these plain little pumpkins a makeover. I am setting all three of them together. You could pour candles in these, you could store items in these, but I love it, love it, love it how good the golden leather ribbon coordinates with the golden stem. Another really cool hack that I discovered using this leather ribbon from Dollar Tree was to actually cut it down into the same size strips and glue it together. Now I am using hot glue. I'm sure there's a glue that would work better if you want to take the time and wait for it to dry. Um, Dollar Tree does have a ton of craft and fabric glues out right now if you want to try those out. But I am just taking the smallest little line of hot glue to piece these together and kind of overlap them so that I can create like a bigger leather block 
that I can use to actually cut patterns out of. I know some people are sharing that Dollar Tree had out like leather sheets, so if you can find that, that would work perfect for that. But this is the best I could do or I could come up with, but I also love that it gives it this really cool textured effect. So I wanted to cut out some leaves and use it as the backing to some of those 3D laser leaves that I love using on everything. So I did a couple of different shapes, including this oblong little leaf and cut it out. And like I say, just putting the wood little charm on the front. I feel like this looks so gorgeous and high end together. And it really dresses up anything that you want to add like extra detail to or a tag to. Um, you'll see what I mean, but I love that. And then I used the little maple leaf and just kind of cut around it. It wasn't perfect, but it didn't have to be. The um, focal point is kind of the wooden on the front and then that's adding as a backing, but I feel like it is so gorgeous and looks really high end. Make sure to hold on to your leftover solar powered lights that you pick up from Dollar Tree. These actually came from Walmart or you can keep picking them up because I know a lot of places are starting to clearance out their summer. So this is a great time to check through all of the gardening departments and pick up the extra solar lights. But so many things you can do with them like this. I took one of Dollar Tree's biggest vases and filled it up with some of my favorite fall items, including these little pine cones, as well as these little velvet pumpkins. I kind of mix match the colors so it would look like fall. And then to get the solar light to stay at the top, I did remove the stake at the bottom and then make sure to remove the plastic piece to make sure it is working and then I started wrapping this in rope so I wrapped the top a couple of times and cut that off and then I went back in and added it just to the bottom so it is flat against the table to create like a lid so that this solar light will be held up on top of the vase After I got it as big as I needed, I did curl the rope on top of the edges to kind of make a lip so it does look like a real lid. To go around the edges, cut that off. I do use my lighter to kind of singe, singe off all of the extra hairs and hot glue strings and then put that on the top. And then I feel like it was kind of a small tiny lid and I wanted more rope added on this to kind of cover the solar light. Um, so I do go ahead and hot glue some of the rope to the base itself. And then you can decorate it any way that you like. I added a bow to the top as well, some little sunflowers, and this will look so gorgeous setting out on a patio, all lit up, but it doesn't stop there. You can also use this idea on some of the new Mercury little candle holders. These look so gorgeous lit up. The light actually shines through all of those little holes. So I'm doing the same thing, taking a solar light, wrapping it with some nautical rope so it kind of creates like a lid, but I do go ahead and glue this one down on top of the jar just because I'm not going to be wanting to change it out or fix any of the pumpkins or anything because there's nothing in there. So just gluing this down in place and this, this looks so beautiful out on a patio. It creates like a little design whenever it's shining, but a really fun hack or DIY idea. These would be really cool to set around your patio. It adds that pop of orange color for fall, but a really fun idea to try. And then speaking of solar lights, another really fun idea to create some more like lit up areas in your space or patio, perfect for fall. You can take the solar light and stick it down in some styrofoam. I am using one of these little half barrel planters that Dollar Tree had out, which is perfect. It looks fall to me. It goes perfect with any of Dollar Tree's fall floral. And I kind of dress up the light a little bit by wrapping it with some of this decorative ribbon, place it down inside the styrofoam. And then just to make it a little bit sturdier, 
here. I did press it down in there, hot glue it, and then added some popsicle sticks around the edges. And then it was time to add in any of the floral that you would like. I just went with a pop of orange. I feel like outside I like to do more bold colors, but I feel like that was really pretty. The floral that had the mixed in pine cones and berries and a little pumpkins. Um, just to make it look a little bit more, um, have a little bit more contrast, I did add in some greenery. And then I love this new Dollar Tree ribbon, so I decided to create a bow really quick to add in the front. And that just made it look a little bit more dressed up, but this looks so beautiful setting out on a patio so it's like a decorative piece you can enjoy all day but also lights up and is fun at night. Next up, I have some really cool ideas using this privacy like window film that Dollar Tree has. They have this out in a couple of different designs, so be sure to check the side of your box to see what design you're getting. But this floral print is so beautiful. It actually looks like it has like leaves or maple leaves or something on it, so it's perfect to dress up with fall. But this could actually work for any time of the year. I wanted to share with you how it looked just put on one of Dollar Tree's glass containers. I love the grid on the back to make sure that you are getting a, a straight line. So I was able to cut it down to size, just wrap it around this glass container, and then just putting a candle in it and lighting it up already makes it look so much different than just making or leaving this plain. And then I discovered if you do roll it on the table, you get less wrinkles. But I think this is a really fun idea and so many things you could try this with. Another fun idea using the window film is to wrap it around one of these little candy dishes from Dollar Tree. Once again, just using the grid to cut it down and putting it around the edges. This was actually a lot easier to get on, I guess, it, because it's like a thinner piece. And then wrapped it all the way around. And you could leave this as is, but I wanted to go a little bit extra and paint the bottom little stand white to make it pop off. And then this is something that you can add in more candles or floral arrangements. You can make it a candy dish, but a really cute, fun decorative touch. And the window film just adds so much detail without having to put in a ton of extra work. And then another way to use the privacy film, I wanted to try it on like a shadow box and this worked perfect. I love these frames from Dollar Tree that actually have two pieces of glass stuck together. So you're able to take it out and kind of decorate the glass and then put the other glass over it. But for this, I decided to put a piece of the privacy film in between the glass pieces and then decorate the outside because Dollar Tree has some really fun stickers out right now. So you can see just by adding that, it adds a gorgeous background and so beautiful and it's not just clear see-through and then picking up these cute little truck stickers from crafter square i decided to go with the red one and i just put it on there and then use letters to spell out fall and add a cute little bow I loved adding in these little leaf stickers. These actually came from Walmart for like 98 cents, but I feel like that gave it the perfect pop of fall and added in a ton more of the fall colors. So another really cool idea is to ditch the Dollar Tree candles and actually go for Walmart candles. I love these. I have the easy peel off label. They come with a really nice lid. These are huge candles for about five bucks. They smell so much nicer than what you're going to get at the Dollar Tree and they have such a huge variety so you can choose which ones that you like. These are actually back in like the cleaning supplies aisle but they have so many different scents and like I say just a lot better quality than what you're going to find at Dollar Tree. So I picked up 
up the ones that I liked and I love how the the uh, labels peel off so easy. I love picking up cashmere woods every year. My family always gets excited to smell that. It lets you know that it is almost fall time and then I was able to take some more of my Dollar Tree stickers and decorate these candles. So these are 3D stickers. I did peel off the 3D part very carefully, remove the 3D little sticker and then just glue this right back down. But I love how this is a perfect plain little farmhouse candle that can be decorated any way that you would like. But I always get so tired of picking up the cutest candles um, that I love so much and paying a lot for them. But they're pretty much you're just getting the label and you know that you can decorate these yourself versus um, just like a stinky candle because you like the truck on it. So then I put the little scratch on at the bottom, the little rub on transfer. I had this word thankful. And then for that extra color, I put the little leaves on the edges, which I feel like looks so beautiful. And this is the perfect little custom label. This will look so cute, but actually a candle that I can still burn and that smells really nice. And then for the little brown candle, I was dying to use these little cheetah pumpkin stickers from Dollar Tree. So I just picked out a couple of the stickers that I like, stuck them on the candle. I did cut away any of the white excess um, sticker that was there and just to make it look a little bit nicer and go ahead and remove some of the 3D little pieces and glue them back down. I stuck three different stickers together to kind of make my own custom little pumpkin setting. And then this Cricut knife works really well to cut away anything. It's super sharp but an exacto knife would work um, but I just love how custom these are like I said and they look so cute setting out on the shelf but you can really burn these and these smell so good thank you all for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you are subscribed let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video happy crafting bye